bila kukua na mtu na imani nasema haiwezekani kwa 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 sababu Biblia inasema it is impossible to please God without faith i i was a kind of competitor among the people who are in so when i got baptized i was in the baptism of a i was like 13 years old i started reading the bible i didn't know jesus personally i knew him as a christian guy i didn't know him personally and I did have a relationship with him personal relationship like we as believers are able to have a relationship with God sasa ni kesi sisi sio kesi tunapasha kuwa like ile mahusiano sisi na Kristo Now, I was motivated to pursue the tangible presence of the Holy Ghost. Ah, nili nili motivated. Nili sukumu, nili sukumu, nili sukumiwa kuda kunani. Kujisi kusikia kwa mtakatifu because I saw believers being filled and that I wanted to experience what other believers are being experiencing. Kwa sababu ni yule wengine wa Kristo wakijazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. But you must be very careful because the experience itself can be a really distraction from the real encounter. distraction. I wanted to know him personally. So, so I started reading the Bible. So he comes up with so many clear. And at the time I was reading Matthew I believe in the as I was reading Matthew I noticed I started to notice wakati nilikuwa nikasoma nikaanza kuangalia nikaanza kuona I started to notice the the real Jesus that lived 2000 years ago the Jesus mwenye alikuwa hapa duniani miaka ishita zimbili iliyopita can be found in the word anaweza kupatikana katika neno lake Not in church now that doesn't mean you can't encounter him in church but because the church sometimes sugarcoat the, uh, the gospel instead of like, seeking the gospel that rips up and tears and cuts and wounds and and hurts and even kills for that is the gospel that makes life again kuliko ikwele ile injili yenyewe inakata ina inavunja na inatengeneza sasa ni kwa injili tu ya kwa ya ku tia vitu na kwa kisa vile na kwa kuingizi na kuuliza vitu because of a super core gospel na chuo ile injili ya hivyo many people like come from believers to hell then to like um then to uh, then to offend them to heaven can you repeat that again some people they come from people who help them to offend them to heaven ah wengine wanaongozwa wengine katika jehanamu kuliko wasaidie katika safari yao kwenda mbinguni juu ile ile maubiri sukari yes ile maubiri ya yes ya sukari so as i thought is the real jesus na nilisema niliposhana kuona yesu wa kweli is when i encountered the tangible presence of the holy ghost na jesus ni kabisa na ile kabisa mtu wa roho mtakatifu wa mwana la mwana wa mungu they be told something the word is truth and it liberates you from the lies of the enemy and the sugar coated coating of the uh, demons kile mimi nakwambia neno ya mungu ni ya kweli na inapita nguvu za mwongo shetani na kila kitu yote it liberates you inakufanya na kuwa huru Listen again. I would rather offend someone to heaven than to comfort comfort their way to hell. Mimeza kukasirikisha mtu juu apate kufika mbinguni bila kumu 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 kumuchunga namna fulani ukokoja kumwelekeza kwenda kuzimu. 
And I had joy like never before when I encountered His presence. I started crying in my room uncontrollably and said to myself, What is this feeling? I was reminded that I cannot work for it because I was wretched when I looked at my life. I was cut custom with my life when I knew His love for me. And for the first time, I was humbled when I realized that there are ways that temporary things we pursue. It's love for you and me are ways the galaxies, the stars, all of them put together. I'm sorry. It's love for you and me are ways the galaxies, the stars put together. Oh my yota na mwezi na hivyo vitu yote. He reminded me that I cannot work for that tangible presence. Na kanikumbusha kwamba sisi nikatumikia ile nani ile ile experiment ya benki. And I can't work to gain his favor. Na sisi nikatumika tu nipate kupata ile kibali yake. As the word of God says is by grace through faith that you and I are saved. Hallelujah. And it's not by work so that we cannot boast. It is, it is by grace alone. You cannot work your way to heaven. You cannot work to gain the favor of God. It is given freely. It is given freely. Now it is up to you to make that decision. God is not going to force you. He gave you, he gave you free will of choice. God is not going to control you. He's not going to control you like a puppet. That is why he made you really with free will. Now we are going to go to Psalm 
that he loves me so much. I realize his compassion. It's not for me. And his love will destroy your earthly perspective of him. To remind you that he's greater than you living in him. So till then, I was motivated to pursue that presence of the Holy Ghost. Through the word and prayer. I didn't know how to feel his presence, so I started thinking, try to find experiences from the past. I remember that, sorry, remember that it can become a distraction. Distraction, yes. Now I'm charismatic to this day, I try to conjure things, try to pick up experiences from the past. The easiest thing to do is just believe. And I don't know how many times I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you to just believe because all things are possible. All things are possible, only believe. You don't have to fight it, just surrender. And the precious angel of the Holy Ghost will feel your inner being. Just ask him, just ask him to feel it tonight. He's not holding you back. You just need to surrender. He's willing. You don't have to fight it. And some of us are thinking about the sins and mistakes. We think disqualify us. Now, when we to know that we to to see the We love it. God will not remove your only chance of being holy. Now, what am I saying here that you can, that you can go on and sin it by no means? What I'm saying is that the Holy Spirit faithfully abides with you to help you to get it right. And really, I should believe it will not desire to keep on sinning. Just ask him to forgive you, repent, turn back to him. Don't fear, he's willing. It's not your he loves you so much. His love for you outweighs everything, his creation. Love for you is immeasurable. Just think about it. He's your friend. How can you hold back? He gave himself for you just to show how much he loves you. If you know to you, if you know to you, and experience to you, only believe. Oh, and you guys are just going to hate me for saying believe. Now, how does one feel the presence of the Holy Ghost? Just believe. And have faith. Just believe. Just believe. Pray. Forget what, what others are going to think of you. Oh, they will say our name. Oh, they Oh, they will stare at me. No, my friend, the presence of the Holy Ghost 
is worth pursuing other than people's opinions of you. Inafaa kuitafuta kupitia mambo ya wao na damu wanawaza. Just focus on him. Wewe uendelee kumfikiria mambo kwanza kivya mtakatifu. Thank him for what he's done. Mshukuru kwa yeye aliyofanya. And who he is. Remember his love for you because it is unconditional. I like to be more than It is it is unmeasurable and his compassion is worth remembering. He can be personally known and experienced today. As a matter of fact, He's already begun. Only believe. Because all things are possible when you believe. So put your faith in Christ and believe in Him. So And His work with the cross. Because a crossless gospel is a Christless gospel. The cross is a gospel. Therefore, put your faith in Christ. And as you make the most important decision of your life, thank you. And Amen. God bless. There are some things that he said.